Hello to you, Dr. Yitzhak Drimer. Hello. As part of the publishing journey of your new coming book, the international book, about the ultimate medicine, many readers and viewers of these uh, video episodes are asking what exactly is the bridge between the ultimate medicine and the medicine that are coming from the East, from China, from Japan, from Korea, from India. How exactly are they combined in the concept that you have founded of the ultimate medicine? So when we're taking the ultimate medicine, we're looking at four types of medicine that everybody are familiar with. Conventional medicine, uh, musculoskeletal nervous system medicine, chiropractic osteopathy, uh, biochemistry, nutrition, and so on. And so on and uh, immediate psychology, or psych all the psychology fields. Okay. So these are four types that everybody in the Western world pretty much know about. So an ultimate medicine is five fields. Oh, so the quantum exactly. medicine. So the quantum field, quantum mind medicine in a sense, is, is the combination and its accumulation of all types of certain energetic work, work um, which, when we go into quantum mind medicine, we're going first to the type of medicine that deals with the energy that comes from outside in through us. The second one will be the one that will deal with all the information and energy from the brain through the spinal cord, through the body. That will be, for example, chiropractic osteopathy or other type of uh, um, adjustment type of uh, medicine, manipulation type. The next one is will be uh, Chinese acupuncture, for example, Japanese <coughs> Japanese acupuncture, uh, Indian acupuncture, for example, that where where they're running information and energy mm -hmm. through certain areas of our body in tracks meridians so that will be an enhancer for energy that's running in parallel up and down all over the body parts in a certain way the next one will be type of um, energetic work with reflexology for example with sujuk for example with type of medicine that deals with reflexes of the nervous system reflex of the nervous system and so then, when you're taking all these types of medicine, you are working all around and you're giving the ability for the patient and the doctor to work with energy that enters our body, the energy that goes from our brain to our body, and the energy that goes between the spinal cord and the rest of the parts, systems, and back, up and down all the time. Up, down, inside, out. So we are receiving energy and then we're also emitting energy. We're receiving energy with information and we're emitting energy and information to the field. So all these types of medicine that are found within the quantum mind medicine are very very important. Each one has its own unique place within quantum mind medicine. So for instance a, a people that are very, very familiar with the Chinese medicine, um, that is very, very ancient medicine, also working with energy, it also has a place within the concept of the ultimate medicine? Absolutely. So if, if you are in ultimate medicine and you're not involved in this type of very, very important medicine, energetic meridianic medicine, and the herbal work that they're doing and all the other portion that they're giving by understanding very well the human body, the human psyche and the combination of it and more than that, human body, human psyche and environment and the cosmos that's how they work. Chinese medicine is very very important, very knowledgeable very well put medicine so it's very very important medicine and if you don't use it you're missing something out so you want to know when to use it, how to use it, and with people that are very that are certified in using it. Yes, it's very important medicine. What about the medicine that is coming from India? 
from your perspective, how exactly would you emphasize the bridge between the Indian um, medicine knowledge into the ultimate medicine? So the Vedic medicine, for example, will be in, in a sense in, as parallel to the Chinese medicine, also with acupuncture that they have, also with all types of energetic spots in the body and chakras as they call it, and with very special type of um, contact treatments, with oils, with aroma. So they, they are they're not far away, they are very close to the Chinese medicine. They're very close in that just it's coming with a little bit different form but very very important energetic work, meridianic work, sense work, um, smell work, touch work so it's very very important absolutely. And what about the medicine that is coming from Japan? It, it, exactly the same. So each one, all these Eastern types of medicines mm -hmm. are pretty much close in the idea of what they're doing, they're doing it a little bit different each, but but exactly different, but exactly almost the same. And when we're talking about the uh, uh, part of the quantum medicine, that the energy is coming from up there into within, what exactly is this up there so the source? Up, so today, scientists will tell you, that everything is out there in the quantum cloud or the quantum field, the cosmic field. You see, energy and information is outside of us, but we're accessing it for our life, thinking, and actions. So you're taking cosmic quantum field energy that carries information. It's enter your brain, enter your body, and then it transforms to a biological energy and information. Activates your genetic codes. Each one has a different one. And when it activates your genetic codes, it activates your life force, which, for example, the chiropractors will call it innate intelligence. And it will activate you 24-7 without you interfering with that. That's called life force. So it's transforming within your brain from your CSF to your cortices, to biological energy, back to your thalamus and the rest of your body, through your brain, and then, through your spinal cord. And then you're emitting, uh, by the way, it's communicating with your heart. And you're emitting a signal out to the cosmos back. Mm -hmm as an electromagnetic information and as further away you're emitting it from your body as more powerful you are and more all together you are with your radio, with your frequentization informational energy. So people that are well known as therapists that are already acquainted with the Eastern medicine, the Indian, the Japanese, the Korean, the Chinese they are more than welcome to also learn about the ultimate medicine to be part of this new coming enlarging community of yours. Absolutely. The Chinese, the Indian, the Malaysians, the Singaporeans, the Koreans, the, the Japanese, all the Eastern type of medicine mm -hmm. are integral, integral part of ultimate medicine. In order for you to be an ultimate health providing doctor, you need to understand, see, feel, and be able to treat or to send to people that treat that way according to their needs. Not every patient will need all these types of medicines. Mm -hmm. So as an ultimate health provider doctor, you will know which modalities to use, if it's conventional medicine, if it's chiropractic medicine, if it's biochemistry medicine, if it's biochemical nutrition store, if it's chiropractic medicine, if I didn't say, and if it's quantum mind medicine with all the parts mm -hmm. of the Eastern special, very, very powerful type of medicine. So as a health provider, you need to know which modality or modalities to use with a patient as needed. Dr. Yitzhak Glimmel, the founder 
and the creator of the Ultimate Medicine, as part of the journey of publishing your new international book. Thank you very much. Thank you.